Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. We are in nature. We want to learn. But it's a hard task. Here we are busy making a pond. The depth of the pond is more or less where we want to have it, want to desire it to be, uh, mainly because the excavator cannot reach further or deeper, or when I'm in the pond I cannot shovel it out onto the dam wall because of the limitation of the boom of the excavator. I have been complaining a lot about the clay but now I am on dry soil so I'm now missing the clay So the geologists, they say there is unsaturated soil and then saturated soil and then on, between the two is the water table. Now uh, here it looks like everything is unsaturated because there is no rain, there's no water. So uh, I don't know if any water will enter this pond from inside the soil. A lot of moisture on top. It's one of the reasons why I have picked this site. But now, bone dry. The dogs will make sure that all the lo loose pieces of clay soil will run down because this is now their favorite toy, favorite place to play. They actually eat the, the kaolin clay and then it gets stuck to their teeth and then they struggle a lot to, with the paw to get it out. But uh, there must be something about the clay soil. I don't know what. So this from sky to mux, that height is more or less okay. Then somehow I must get the excavator out there and uh, then level the spot where it is right now. But that's for another day. I will not bother about that today. Many, many hours. Lots of things I've learned. Many ins and outs and digging. I also have the bucket with teeth. So that changed the whole scope of what I can do and can't do but it's much better for this kind of dry soil to have the teeth on the bucket. The spillway will be here about two or th two meters wide and then uh, and over the overflow through the spillway to the next swale. And then I have lots of topsoil that was scraped off before that must just be placed on top of that soil over there. This is now the first time that I have a single track with the excavator all the levels before I could 
widen the area that the excavator stamps down but now it's just a single track all around this area is still a little bit low so it will be filled up and then the topsoil must go on top this tree was almost always my marker and uh, it has been dwarfed so the wall is really really high where I am standing now this is about two meters high the inside is about 160 170 one meter 60 centimeters and then the length is about eight meters and the width uh, let's say four meters so uh, it appears that it can hold 50,000 liters of water there's 50 cubic meters of water and uh, even if it doesn't hold it this whole area here can be irrigated or just the seepage of the water to all the trees here and there are some more swales down there also the inlet of the water I can regulate if uh, there's too much water coming in I can divert it away from this pond quite easily so I'm not too worried about too much water entering here there might also some water come from the top above this area is the flat area of the farm the Altiplano and uh, I think water will also be collected there and then the seepage will come this way the highest part of the land is next to the southern border so everything is on a slope so all the rainwater here can make its way that way because that is still higher than here uh, only a meter but uh, enough for water to flow and then the lowest spot on the farm is 20 meters lower than this Let's see. Till next time. Goodbye.